everybody, welcome back to a new uh, gravel video. Today we'll be checking, uh, we'll be continuing the uh, off-road masters, which we have been doing the last few episodes. Um, also yesterday a new free DLC got released, which is the Ford uh, HRX. So uh, maybe we will be playing with that today. I don't know uh, for sure, but mm, if we could that if we could play with it, that would be nice. So you can check that out. Um, first off, we're gonna continue the King of Buggies episode, which is this one, and we were halfway through there. So uh, let's jump straight into it. So first off, we got oh, so it's a championship. We got three races. So the objective is to win the championship, finish at least third, and complete it. All right, so it shouldn't be too hard. I hope so. Last time we checked out this vehicle, this one, this one as well. I think these were the only two left but what kind of track is it all right so it looks like we need a pretty powerful vehicle but um gonna make it a little bit more challenging i'm gonna pick one of these two so i think we're gonna go for the four wheel drive instead of the rear wheel drive because i think Four wheel drive will be a little bit easier. Let's pick a nice livery. Alright, I like the red one. So let's start off the shoe race. Alright. We wanted to give you a spectacle worthy of the name, and we've done it. We've organized a race which will leave you breathless here in the Alaskan mountains. To the off-road fans watching out there, you're on Gravel Channel. Stay tuned, you won't regret it. All right. So, you heard what he said. We're in Alaska. Uh, I also saw a little one, two, three, I think that are checkpoints or different uh, areas of the map, but uh, let's jump straight into it. Alright, this thing looks pretty beefy. Although I see there's also the best vehicle in the game all the way up front, so I hope we won't have too big of a disadvantage in this thing. That's one thing that uh, is a little bit disappointing I think of this DLC is there are some really great vehicles in here but they're not all as uh, equally powerful and I can see that being a little bit uh, annoying but you don't have too much trouble passing these guys Uh, someone's right behind this. It's a little bit annoying that we don't have any mirrors in here. It would have been nice. Now I've got to figure out the button for that. No, wrong button. That's wrong, but that's a weird button to look behind. Alright, they're pretty far after us. Still got the lead. And uh, maybe after this championship I can crank up the difficulty a bit because now we're leading pretty easily. It's nice to finish first, but it's also nice to have a little bit more of a competition.
Alright, they're pretty far away. Oh god. Almost went wrong there. Alright, so it looks like we finished the first part, or I don't know. Let's enjoy this race together and don't be too sad. Off-Road Masters is back next week, always and only here on Gravel Channel. Alright, so that was the first part of the championship. We finished first. Alright, pretty cool. So, 0.3 uh, seconds behind us. So that's pretty close. Um, but I will uh, be looking at the replay real quick and then we continue to the next event. All right, I'm back. Um, let's continue to the next event. Okay, so we're first in this championship. So far, so good. With 25 points ahead. All right, he earned 127,000 show points. And we're a little bit over halfway through level 11. Maybe we can... We wanted to give you a spectacle worthy of the name, and we've done it. We've organized a race which will leave you breathless here in the Alaskan mountains. To the off-road fans watching out there, you're on Gravel Channel. Stay tuned, you won't regret it. All right, so we have a nice little race in the rain, but I was about to say before we went into loading screens, which I will cut out, of course, uh, I was about to say maybe we can reach level uh, 12 today, but we'll have to see. Um, same exact... Um, same exact objectives as the last race, since it's a championship, but let's jump straight into it. Looks pretty dark with the rain. Now I want to change my camera since it's not really wanting to god damn it. Oh I hate this. No. Ah it's a little annoying bug which um Causes to show the uh, rain on the screen, even though you're in first person. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but I've had it before uh, on other vehicles as well, and it would go away when um, you just change camera and change back. But I guess it don't work. It does it work in this vehicle? Although it has open windows, so it's still possible, but I highly doubt it. Oh god, no, 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 no. Ah, the tick is cornered to white. Alright, now we took it better than the last. Oh, so what's this? Jump or something? We're actually topping out. Out of gears. I don't think this vehicle has seven gears. But that would be possible since my shifter only sports six. Alright, we're really far ahead right now. I think I'm gonna definitely try and turn up the difficulty next race. All right. 
night. Only less ten percent were in. Alrighty. We finished quite a bit ahead, as you can see there. Even though today's live broadcast has come to an end, Gravel Channel is always with you. Go to our website, visit our social media pages, and don't miss out on anything this season of Off-Road Masters. Alright, so this time a little bit more of a gap than the last race, but um, I'll be checking out the replay again, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, I'm back. Um, let's continue to the next one. And I keep getting confused with the 31 stars in the, in the right corner. But I keep forgetting that's uh, of the whole uh, series we're doing. It's pretty confusing. But uh, we're leading with 50 points. So that's nice. Let's go to the next one. Alright, new car, another a new livery and we reached level 12 and we got 130,000 show, po show points it's pretty nice we wanted to give you a spectacle worthy of the name and we've done it we've organized a race which will leave you breathless here in the Alaskan mountains to the off-road fans watching out there you're on gravel channel stay tuned you won't regret it all right, that sounds exciting. Uh, I'm gonna change the uh, race options re real quick, turn up the uh, AI difficulty a bit, so it will be a little bit more uh, changing. Alright, as you can see, I have set it now to medium instead of easy. Uh, I think that should be possible. So let's jump into it. Alright, I can already notice that there are a little bit more aggressive than at first. Oh, and surprisingly enough, I can still take them over pretty easily, but I don't want to turn it up too much at a time before we won't be able to win anymore, or before we will lose you. We will just lose just really hard. That wouldn't be fun. But now, as you can see, it's a little bit more challenging, so every mistake counts. Oh god. And I'm gonna replay that because, as you can see, that didn't really go too well, that corner. Alright, let's move it to four and slow it down a little bit. Alrighty, so we're second. Now I gotta take over that guy in front of us. Someone with the same vehicle as me behind us. Ooh, that's some nice extra bonus points. We got there. I wonder if these uh, bonus show points are uh, usable for something. If you get any benefits or something for uh, earning more of them. I'm really curious because I see them always popping up and stuff, but are they really usable? F for what are they in the game? That's what I don't really understand. Maybe someone can explain this. But that guy in front is leading quite a bit. So there you see the uh, big difference in vehicles. Oh, gotta back up. Because 
You see, it just has a lot more power than me. Oh god, no, 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 no. I gotta back that up. That didn't go as planned at all. Oh, God damn it! Why does it have to happen to me? Can't you just freaking leave me alone? Yourself trying to roll me over. He's getting quite a bit ahead. I'm wondering if we can even catch up to him. I hope so. But if we don't, I think we should have just enough points to stay first at the end. Alright, almost in the last 10%. Oh god, and I did take that corner a little bit too tight. So we're getting closer, even though we have 5% left. It will be a close one. Ah, uh, second place, which isn't too bad. But there you can see that. Uh... Smoke, tussles, and adrenaline. Who knows why you'd like our checkpoint races so much? So, so, so I was about to say, there you can see the real difference in horsepower. That was, I believe, one of the most powerful uh, trucks or vehicles in the game. And I had one of the lowest powered vehicles, but. I'll be checking out the uh, replay and uh, I will be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. Um, let's continue. And as I already expected, I still won the, champion, the championship. So I'm happy with that. Uh, just won by 7 points. So that's pretty cool. All right, I reached almost level 14, and if I saw it correctly, two new vehicles or liveries, and a lot of new tracks. So we got a total of 400,000 of show points. But I, I like it; it's there. But why? What can I do with it? Does it help you in progression or leveling up? I don't really know. I think it's for leveling for the leveling system, but not sure if it has uh, any other benefits. But let's continue. All right, so we have two races left in here. Um, I think since this one is one race and this is three races, um, we'll jump back to the normal uh, episode again, uh, just to change it up a little bit. And uh, do one more race in here, which is this one. And uh, after that, that will just finish up for today. I think that's a great plan. So let's see what vehicles we got. Alright, so the above 124 ready, above 131 ready, the Alpine, alright, Toyota GT86, oh, and one of the uh, DLC cars which I got also, not this episode, but last episode, I bought the Porsche DLC as well, so we can now play as well with the Porsche 
924 GTS Rally in uh, that other Porsche, which I don't know how it's called. Oh, this one looks sick. Two levels left. A little bit less, but one of my dream cars in real life, and this also one beefy car. But um, I think we'll use this one for now. Check it out because I haven't actually done that yet. And do I really want a bronze one? I think the red looks better, honestly. So I'm gonna go for this. Oh, I wanna check one more thing. How much power has it compared to the rest? 270 horsepower. Uh, yeah. Oh, so it's actually the most powerful one, except these two ones, these two, but I haven't unlocked them yet. All right, didn't expect that. But um, let's start off this race then. We gotta win the championship, finish at least third, or complete the championship. Oh, so it's a whole championship. All right, doesn't matter, we'll just uh, do it. Off-road fans watching out there, I hope you're used to the heat in Florida, because today's race is gonna be sizzling. The stadium is full, and our drivers can't wait to get going. Off-Road Masters is back on your screen with a bang. Stay tuned, we won't disappoint you. All right, so it sounds pretty cool. I just checked my phone, by the way, which is recording this uh, wheel cam, but I saw it has it stopped. So, um, yeah, there will be one part of the video starting from this or earlier on with no wheel cam, but we'll still uh, continue because we already started it, so not a big deal, but just so you guys know. Alright, so, five laps, weather's clear, time of day is dusk, what's, what's dusk, time of the day? Never heard of that. Alright, so I see we gotta go against one Subaru. Alright, already fifth place, fourth, third. Oh, come on, catch up. Interesting sound does this portion makes. Didn't expect that. Sounds kind of cool, but <laughs> really interesting compared to the rest of the cars in this game. Alright. Oh, Mitsubishi Evo Lancer 10 as well in here. Can't lose from that. Even though it has 25 horsepower more. But it should be possible. I've got to take the inside corners. Uh, and yes, I took the corner wrong because it was a perfect opportunity to pass. All right. Yes, first place, a fourth out of five laps. All right, so last lap is this. It's a nice little short track. Well, you can't really get too much speed, but it's not bad. And we finished first. Cool. Another edition of Off-Road Masters is coming to an end. But don't despair, we'll be back next week. Here on Gravel Channel, bringing you the greatest spectacles. Alright, that was pretty close. Uh, I'll be checking the replay uh, for now. And then I'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue to the next race. Uh, we're at the first event out of the three. So that's the other two ones. 
Alright, a new car unlocked. Ooh, Impreza. Nice. So we're at level 14 and... Alright, that starts the next race. Time for this night. Weather's clear. And uh, difficulty, we already know. Right, let's see if we can maybe do it like this. It's now on better difficulty. Let's see if you can maybe finish a little higher instead of fourth. Or not finish at all. second and for whatever reason there's such a big jump in easy and medium I don't know why but in some races like this easy is just yeah it's just just enough to make the difference and in medium there's just no way of getting past somebody or something like that and then once I'm first I can just get a real big gap, so I don't really know what's going on with that, but looks a bit weird to me. Almost lost traction there. I mean, look at the minimap, at the difference between me and second. It's just so big, and that. And then you have to think on medium, I was not getting past fourth place. Which, uh, I guess that's how it works. left so I love changing gears on this track god damn every corner I have to go back to second every straight to third I mean it's not a big deal but uh, I don't know not really a fan I would prefer just a long straight track alright 3 seconds left and we finished first nice happy with that and I will be checking the uh, replay real quick and then I will be back. Alright, I'm back. Let's continue to the next race. So we're first in the uh, championship. Let's go to the next one. Alright, 125,000 points. Uh, more than halfway, 75% uh, through level 14. 
I don't, I don't know what it, the camera is being so speed. We wanted to give you a spectacle worthy of the name, and we've done it. We've organized a race which will leave you breathless here in the Alaskan mountains. To the off-road fans watching out there, you're on Gravel Channel. Stay tuned, you won't regret it. All right, sounds cool. Uh, <clears throat> all right, uh, out of voice crack. But uh, the difficulty spec on medium. Let's see if this race is actually doable on that. I hope so. It keeps me weird to me. That's why it can be such a big difference. And look, now I'm just passing everyone like it's nothing. Why does it have to be such a big difference? Please. It's one of the main frustrations I have with this game currently. It's also so unforgiving every single uh, thing you do wrong. <clears throat> on higher difficulty you just yeah, ju you, you just completely you can't catch up anymore it's so annoying but yeah that keeps the fun of it I guess otherwise it's so boring so fast if you're really good at it and we're gonna go back took it too much to the left, uh, to the right. Close that gap, yes. Oh. And again, it just freezed at the same bit. Last time it did that as well. If I had that on one of the Alaska maps as well, from the ice and fire DLC, there's also one part that it keeps on freezing. It's really weird. I guess it's just some bug in the game, and hopefully it can be fixed. It would be nice. Now I gotta take over this guy. Come on, get back here. Not like that. Oh, I hate that. Like now, he's just glued to me. How is that even possible? I guess I just hit him at the wrong spot, but still, it's weird. And I don't think it's supposed to happen. Alright, I think we're gonna go for second place then. Alright, I'll accept that. It's not too bad. Second. Even though today's live broadcast has come to an end, Gravel Channel is always with you. Go to our website, visit our social media pages, and don't miss out on anything this season of Off-Road Masters. Alright, cool. So, uh, let's continue. Alright, so still won the championship, which I already expected. Pretty cool. So, again, almost 400,000 points, and we are level 16 now. I got quite a new cars. A few liveries, a few tracks here and there. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so we unlocked. Looks like another new uh, special episode, but um, yeah, we got a, quite a lot to do still. But I think. Did we even do this? Oh, I still need to finish these ones as well. But that's for another time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like. 
If you didn't, make sure to leave a dislike. And also um, leave some constructive criticism down in the comment section below on uh, why you disliked and what and on what I can improve. Also make sure to subscribe if you're new, turn on your post notifications to receive uh, a notification of whenever I upload a new video and make sure to subscribe on my Twitch channel. I'll be streaming there soon. I will leave a link in the comment section. Uh, no, not in the comment section. Or yeah, I will in the comment section and in the description. I will do both. So that will be it for today. And I will see you guys in the next one later.